what's going on guys it's ben from parker bates and i'm going to make this a quick intro because it's absolutely smashing it down where i am i'm at Limbrook fisheries i'm quite local this time i'm here for the next sort of 24 hours something like that but i'm going to bring you my journey and hopefully i can nick a couple of fish this place is the home of some absolute worldies and i mean some absolute bangers there really is some nice scaly 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 ones so um i've already got a rod out but I'm going to touch base with you later on because I'm absolutely getting soaked at the moment, to be brutal honest with you. But I just wanted to intro and let you know where I am, just in case I nick one early. <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to start this video, guys. Before I do that, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And hopefully I can bring you a Limbrook banger. I'll see you in a bit. Got one down here on the margin. One on this tip tree here, and then one sort of open water over there. That one's open, you can see the water on the lens now. Rod's looking naughty. Didn't get back in, so I don't want to ruin the camera, and I'm going to touch base in a minute. Literally at the moment, all I'm doing is locking on. And it's still horrible out there. I've just redone the right hand rod because I had a fight of a swan, or well, the swan had a fight of my rod, should I say. So right hand rod that was so I thought I'd redo it for my own reassurance but now I'm sat in here starting to warm up and the reason for that is I've got my heater on now not a gas one but an electric one because there's plug sockets just behind this wall which you can pay a uh, daily fee for for your 24 hours which is absolutely brilliant and you can stay very very warm so <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing tonight but look at that for a view mate doesn't it look absolutely beautiful out there Limbrook is such a beautiful place, it really is. Look at that. Oh, windy, rainy, it's horrible, but I'm happy. Rod set, definitely not going to touch them until the morning. Come on, the Nossa pigs. <laughs> that darkness is coming very, very quick. So I've done that rod before the dark um, but what I have been what I am what I have been doing is I've just keep going up that margin and just flicking a little bit of bait out every sort of hour just one scoop flicking and flicking over the top one scoop flicking over the top and that's sort of what I've been doing just just to keep that sort of proactive bait going in sometimes a fresh bait and I know um, a couple of the bailiffs that's how they fish up here as well and it seems to work so yeah I'm gonna give that a go this session and um, all I can do is listen really although I can't really hear too much because the, the wind and the, the rain is battering the bivvy. So I'm going to sit in and just hope and pray. I don't mind getting wet, I'll definitely get wet. I've got one last jumper that will keep me warm that I can take off if this gets soaked. So. <laughs> oh, and one dry t-shirt. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so a healthy, nutritious breakfast. Rustler's burger. I need to eat something mate and I just grabbed some bits yesterday so that's literally what I got. I know it looks hanging but got to be done. I'm going to touch base here when I've eaten this and touch through what happened last night and what I've done this morning. Well I guess I should probably talk you through exactly what happened last night. So I turned up quite late to be honest. I'd done a full shift at the factory yesterday um, bagging probably quarter of a tonne of 40 mil Nyoji fish all double dusted and that cooked fresh and they all needed to be bagged so we cooked them the day before that bagged them yesterday cleaned the machine cleaned all the trays um, cleaned the floor swept everything um, and then headed to obviously Limbrook and that sort of brought me to I don't know maybe three or four o'clock maybe um, so I turned up about two but I didn't get a rod out till probably three four o'clock probably maybe later than that I didn't even look at the time to be honest with you and then no time at all that darkness just come in so what did I do I flipped one rod out sort of in front of me um, sort of lift, listen to the bailiff and that's what I spoke about this in my last vlog up here you know you've got people like your Liam's your Andy's and you also got your local people that have been on the winter ticket I've been fishing it for weeks and weeks and weeks on end so there's no better knowledge than speaking to people that have been fishing it basically so that's what I've done I asked Liam he was like if it was me I would put one here put one here fish that middle water he had a lovely fur and what I do is guys I'll put that up on the screen now this fish he had um, it was on a little um, he's been catching on the 12 mil pink fruit and nut pop-ups and again they are available in the shop guys but yeah <laughs> what a banging fish it is as well a real true true good pictures and a real 
lovely frame on it and that's got true potential it really has so last night I got absolutely hammered by these swans and I mean absolutely hammered by these swans what I mean by that is it's every sort of half an hour 45 minutes I was like, beep, 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 beep. but obviously where it was cold and absolutely smashing it down I was zip right up had the little heater on the electric heater next to me and I'm thinking I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. So I obviously ran out, gone to my rods, and yeah, I'm not in. It's just them swans again. So that was very, very frustrating um, to a degree when you're up every hour and trying and trying and trying. Anyway, I woke up this morning, first light, um, watched for a bit, then went back to sleep, and then woke up about eight o'clock, um, just gone eight, and then Liam came over, and me and Liam were sat here, um, had a coffee and that, and just watched the water. And they were this quite apparent the fish are sort of i think it's peg two's water or peg three's water over there um sort of in that middle body so what i've done is with that i've made a little um, mini mix pva bag solid bag up i've got a little pink in again exactly what liam's been doing and i'll, I'll punch one sort of on my sort of on my boundary if you like and that's what i've done with that middle rod the left hand rod was obviously dropped in pegs five water but there's nobody in peg five hence why i've done that and that was again advice from Liam. And then my right hand rod, um, even before anything was said, I thought, you know what, I want to put a rod on that margin. And he was like, that's a good spot down on that margin. And I know Andy fishes that margin as well, alongside of various other people that fish in this particular peg. Lovely margin. You've also got the access to go down the bank and just flick it in, which is quite nice. So, been doing that every hour again sort of been up so the swans are waking me up go around flick a bit in keeping that fresh bait fresh bait going on that margin rod hoping for a bite being that the other two rods were almost fishing pva bag style but also they were dropping the pole but just a little bit of bait if you like just enough for a bite but yeah nothing woke up this morning again to these swans attacking me <laughs> attacking the lines and like i said after that i've put that i've put that sorry put that solid bag on that spot what I'm going to do is in a minute I may redrop that margin rod and basically go from there. But while I'm at it, yesterday I didn't get any video of in the shop. Now you may or may not be aware, maybe you've never even come to Limbrook before, but this is a beautiful, beautiful day ticket water. You can also get lake exclusives on here as well and it's already starting to fill up fast guys. This it, it, it is the place of dreams, quite a small lake, um, good, good head of fish. For more and more details head over to Limbrook Fisheries website. Because I tell you what, there is some absolute bangers in it. Um, there's a, there's one fish in here as well. That's not that's over that forty pound barrel that come out by Andy. Wow, 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 wow! What a fish and a, definitely a fish I would love um, in, my, in, in my photo album to say the least. So when I turned up at the shop yesterday, they're also fully um, and they're also exclusive stockists now of Parker Bates as well. So if you go into the shop, um, maybe you don't want to get it off us. Maybe you live local and you want to tackle, head into their tackle shop. That is something you can do. Um, obviously, when you turn up on site. You can get your bait that you've maybe pre-ordered or, or got the stock while it's in there. We're sending down fresh bait every week. Um, if anybody that watches the channel or maybe you don't know, we cook fresh bait every single week. So you're getting the freshest bait in the game and most of the stuff is on about a two week cycle at the moment. So that's that, they got their, they got our full range in there. Magic dust, sauces, the flat spots, the pellets, they got the lot in there. So they've also got some exclusive deals just to Limbrook. And again, when you come when you come down to Limbrook, just ask or pick up that phone, ring the Limbrook Fisheries number. Again, top of the screen now, guys, and you can pre-order that and then they, they will talk through in great depth in more detail if you want to learn more about that. They've also got their own house pellet as well. And I know a hell of a lot of that goes in. It gets fed, so it's a no-brainer to have a look at that as well so there it is i'm going to leave it at that i've just eaten my manky burger <laughs> but i wanted to do some kind of intro guys um and sort of keep in the loop of exactly what i'm doing and why i've done it but now time to watch the water i'm going to stand out there can't get no footage out there because it's blowing a hoolie luckily it's not raining but fingers crossed i'm here till about five o'clock today so i can try and nick one before that point would be absolutely mega so yeah like i said i'm going to leave it at that and i'll speak to you in a bit
Oh, that's the rod back out on the money. <laughs> oh, there she is, you sexy beast. <laughs> Buzzing, mate. I'm gonna get up in a second. Like I said, first first thing I've done, got the rod back out on the money. The wind's coming in towards me now and it's looking good. It'd be nice to nick another one, but yeah, I don't want to be too greedy. Woohoo! <laughs> so Bosch, there it is, first one for me. I'm not gonna weigh it, but it's a mid-double if you like, but a beautiful, beautiful fish. Every single fish here at Limbrook is just something else. These beautiful apple slice scales going up it, they're all different colours, they're all different shapes, they're just beautiful all round. So I'm gonna quickly show you the other side. This was on a whittled down 12 mil fruit in that pop up in the pink. And um, with a, two, a couple little medusas on top, but yeah. <laughs> Let me show you the other side. It's got a lovely, got a distinctive black spot on it. It's the side that you're looking at now, right in the middle. But there's some more, more nice scales over this side, so I'll show you that right now. Happy days. So there it is, there's the other side, just as beautiful. I'm one happy man, mate. I can go out. I can go home happy now. And luckily, I haven't got a two-hour drive or anything. This one's 20 minutes out the road from me, give or take, something like that. Thank you very much, Limbrook, and thank you very much, the Parker Base. <laughs> Get it. Off you go. Thank you very much. Get it. That's all I wanted from this session was a fish, so I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. Nice scaly one as well. Nothing ginormous, but just a little bit of a taste in your mouth of what Limbrook has to offer. And um, yeah, that, that was, it was apparent that they were feeding on that sort of that middle body this morning. Like I said, I, I'm sort of fishing on my boundary out there and that's what's picked up that bite. So it's worth doing. So left hand rod, I've just done exactly the same. Cut down a little um, fruit and nut pink, trim down the sides of it and then just run four maggots on the top of it. It just looks right. And that's what I've done on the left and the middle rod and the right hand rod I've kept where it is on that margin. I keep putting little bits in every now and again. That's what I've done through the duration of the time I've been here. Um, but like I said, like I said, when I was when I had the fish, you know, I'm going my happy man now. I really, really can. It's my little pinky, but that's the mini mix pellet from Parker Bates. And again, something they sell in the shop. But I'm not really worried about aerodynamics because it's only a flick in front of me. But I'm going to do, bring that left hand rod in now and then flip this out on the money exactly where I had that fish or just to the left of it. So I'm going to keep, uh, keep in the loop what's going on for now. But I'm going to sit back, watch now. It's one o'clock. I've got a few more hours. Apology, this is only a quick video, guys. But I physically can't bring you hour long videos every week. And I've got Euro Aqua. Um, next week and I'm absolutely buzzing and I mean buzzing mate so that is going to be coming to the channel soon um, hopefully I'm over there um, there's I think it's five fish at the right time of year that go over that hundred pound barrier one of them being the world record so <sighs> yeah exciting stuff and I'm absolutely buzzing mate absolutely buzzing so I'm going to leave it at that guys and uh, yeah I'll touch base with you very soon I might have my extra one of these in a minute <laughs> I just wanted to, to show you the peg a little bit more as well. So if you are coming up here and you do go in this peg, that margin there. So this is the peg, you've got the sockets behind the swim there and obviously just ask when you turn up. And then what I've been doing is carefully up here, just come through this. So you come to this bit here. So that obviously is this bit's water and then obviously the other, if you're in peg eight you can fish the back of it so i've been carefully getting down here and just putting it out round here every hour or so keeping the bait going and being proactive watching the water doing everything i can and i do think a lot of bites come to that i mean a few of the ambassadors lewis being one of them has come up here he's had fish off this margin oh and he's done well off this margin going around trickling that little bait in being proactive and if you do work it up here, you will get the bites. And I mean, to be honest with you, this morning, prime example, that fizzing, like I said to you earlier, me and Liam were standing here, watching the water, saw it fizzing, just beyond the island, sort of out there, put a rod on it, 20 minutes later, fish. So proof's in the pudding. But, oh, let me get back down here again. But yeah, that's a bit more of an insight into this peg. There's the Parker Baiter there. It's been taking that out, it's been doing doing the job. Also now available at the Parker Bay store. But yeah mate. <laughs>
lovely. It would be nice to nick one before I leave. There's another gentleman setting up over there now. I think it's a gentleman called Chris comes up here a lot. Top class angler. He's had load of fish, load of fish this winter. Moving over the back here. You got a gentleman over there. These two pegs now. So, it's, so the peg on the end's free. You got one up from that, one up from that, and then down the bottom there um, is free and been free most of the week. So and it's got a lovely reeds where I know the fish hold up in there. And the water's just lovely, like blue lagoon, obviously where they put the dye in. So yeah, there it is. Sun's coming through. Can't really ask for much more. Come on the cup. Lunch time. I really have got to sort it out, I really have. <laughs> Stop eating stuff, but Andy just popped down to be fair. Just finished work a little bit early and just over here is fizzing and that, I tell you what, is in the zone. That is right night near my rods. About half past two now, three o'clock-ish, I think I'm gonna push it to about half past four. So not really too much to show you because I'm not I'm leaving them rods where they are, so I've got the margin rod and then the two on the bags. On, our, on the setup I mentioned earlier, so yeah, wind's still coming in like it has been. The time to enjoy that bad boy. <laughs> wow, well, the slow pack down begins. It's pretty good at Limbrook. They've got the old barrow that you can sort of borrow when you're here. They leave them in the car park and you drop them back. So yeah, if you do, if you're struggling with like space and if you've got a small car and there's a couple you're coming on a social for say scenario sakes, that's definitely something to keep in mind. But yeah, I tell you what, that fizzing is on that middle rod. Wouldn't it be nice to nick one before I leave? It really, really, really would. I've just bailed my margin rod and I thought, you know what, for the last hour, I'm gonna put one by the island on a single. So I've got a half a pinky with a few medusas on the top, little maggots in red. And it went out first time, crack. There's a lovely hard spot just off the end of that island. Apparently it's been doing some fish, so fingers crossed. <laughs> last hit, last hitched ever effort, if you like. Trying to get my words out. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Rods. Wow, 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 that's a barrow done. Tent down. Oh, I just had a beep on the right hand rod, the one I put out by the island. <laughs> Not the time to go, but yeah, 20 minutes, I'm gonna leave it and then pop over, see Andy before I leave and do that drive home. Come on fish, please. It's been a lovely trip back here. Been easy to book, I called last minute, Liam booked me in and um, turn up, I've literally just done 24 hours. So there it is, this, that's this week's video guys, here at Limbrook Fisheries. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you comment down below. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward. And I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.